Well, there's, I mean, there's a lot of different things that you have to do in, in the month of May, and, and how do you evaluate the spring from a, a big picture point of view? You know, the player is going to be gone, and, and at the, you're also going to have to go on the road, and our coach is going to be recruiting. I'm going to have to do some things with, um, you know, just Notre Dame period, and I'll be busy, but. Um, we're, we're going to look back and try to see how much we can learn from the spring, the teaching tapes, you know, the evaluation, and what do we truly need to improve on as we head into June, right, when they come back. And we know Coach Bayless is going to have them in the best shape um, they can possibly be in. But what do we need to do in June, right? We have a little bit more time to be able to utilize football in June. And so how can we capitalize off that time that we can spend with them? Season. Yeah, recruiting never stops. That's the first thing, recruiting, 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 right? Today's recruiting, tomorrow's recruiting. Every day we have to recruit, and every coach has to have that mindset. It's about we have to get the best players in the country that fit this place. And so that's an everyday responsibility, an everyday focus. Um, in terms of, of how do I become a better coach, a better coach, and I mean, there's many different ways to enhance what you do. You got to be able to talk to other people um, that are currently head coach or former head coaches, look at situational football, um, continue to look back at this spring and say, okay, where, what positions, what schematic uh, areas do we need to improve at? And then try to address them, not, not wait to fall camp as much as what can we do in June? What can we do in July? You know, you got some coaches going away, but coaches that are here, we have to all maximize the opportunities that we have to be around our players. Go to Patrick, I believe, up front as well. Marcus, what did today, or not only today, but this entire spring kind of tell you about? About the team, for sure, is that they respond to being challenged. And that was what I spent a lot of time in those off days. Okay, what challenge do they need today? Right? You can't just say, hey, let's go do the same thing and go get through practice. No, it's like they, they got to be challenged. And so I spent a lot of time of thinking about what they need for that day and a way to challenge them. Um, I get 10 minutes with them in our team meetings. I mean, that's all I get because everybody needs their meetings from the head coach, the special teams, to the position coaches. And so um, we have a, a, a strict time that we have to be off the practice field. And so I spent a lot of time for those, preparing for those 10 minutes, what challenge I wanted to uh, present to them on that day. And so they respond to challenges. For me, um, it, it's just continuing to and learn, right? That how do you continue to get better? How do you continue to pick the brains of others? How do you continue to evaluate yourself? And it's a big part of it is taking feedback. You know, and I know everybody knows Coach Orgeron was here, and, and but what I told him, I said, if you're going to be here, right, I want feedback. I want things you've seen, and, and that's the only way to grow, right? Nobody wants to hear where they're not good at or what you need to improve at, but when you have guys here and, and you have guys around you, right, our staff, really, really good coaches, how do we take feedback, seek feedback, and learn from it and grow from it?